Forever alone? Don't worry, in the future you'll be able to print your own best friend. We talked about 3D printing humans on TFN back in May. Scott covered 3D printed face masks, bone fragments, living tissue, and even human livers. Now, more human body parts are being 3D printed or grown in labs. In China, scientists have successfully 3D printed human kidneys. These miniature-sized kidneys consist of 90% living cells and can last up to four months in a lab. The kidney cells are made up of a water-rich material called hydrogels. The process for printing these kidneys is different from traditional 3D printing. Because they contain living cells, they need to account for enough space for the cells to grow. The mini kidneys are fully functioning, able to metabolize, secrete fluid, and even break down toxins. The same research team also 3D printed replacement human ears using the same process. Both the mini kidneys and the ears were created using the Regenovo 3D bioprinter. In the US, a team at Princeton University is working on their own 3D printed ears. The researchers are printing bionic ears by integrating electronics with bio tissue. Each ear takes about four hours hours to print. The printer alternates between three different layers of materials, a mix of bovine cartilage forming cells suspended in hydrogel, one suspension of silver nanoparticles to conduct electricity, and silicone to encase the electronics. The bionic ear is capable of detecting frequencies a million times higher than the normal range of hearing. Right now, the ear appears to be a proof of concept. The team at Princeton hopes to expand the range of objects a 3D printer can create. Aside from 3D printing, scientists have had other amazing breakthroughs in regenerating human parts. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh were able to grow human heart tissue that beats autonomously in a petri dish. The team used induced pluripotent stem cells to create the tissue. You can read more about it in the journal Nature Communications. So between bionic limbs and 3D printed organs, in time you could probably build your own human companion. So what do you think about these printed and lab-grown parts? Are we closer to transplanting 3D printed organs, or is it still too soon to tell? Let me know in the comments. For TFN, this is Chastity.